Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing Twilight Vampire Makeup, specifically Brie Tanner as a newborn in Eclipse. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, Keen. Keen connects you with gifted psychics, mediums, astrologers, and their readers. All you have to do to get started on Keen is create an account and you'll be able to choose from the hundreds of tarot readers, psychics, etc. that are online right now. These readers each have unique specialties designed to give you insight to whatever situation you are in. You can choose whichever reader best suits your needs and you'll be able to connect with them through phone call or text chat. It's always nice to get confirmation or at least a second opinion from somebody who can give you a deeper understanding to whatever's going on in your life and who can also give you a straightforward answer. As a new customer on Keen, you could try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99, which is up to $99 in savings, which is amazing. Go to trykeen.com slash Santana, or you could check the link in my bio to save big on your first reading. Thank you again to Keen for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get into it. So, now that we have my inspiration picture shown, um, let's get started. I'm using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. This foundation is super full coverage and it's a little bit lighter than my skin, so that's why I chose to use this foundation today because I wanted that flawless skin look that the newborn vampires have. Also, happy May, everybody. Um, my birthday is coming up in two weeks. It's on the 15th of May, and I'm turning 21. I'm so excited. I, I haven't been this excited for a birthday in a really long time, and it's not even because I drink alcohol or anything. It's just because I feel like it's a big milestone, and I'm just so excited. But, okay, moving on for a second. I'm doing concealer. I'm starting on my nose. And then I'm going to be putting this concealer under my eyes, on the upper part of my lip, and on my chin. This is the Flower Beauty Concealer. I'll put the shade name um, on the screen in case you're like similar color to me and you want to get this concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers ever. For contour, I've been really loving this e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Stick. They just came out with these and this is the most cool tone contour stick I've ever used and also the most blendable contour stick that I've ever used. So I'm just putting that on my cheeks and then contouring my nose how I usually would. Um, and then I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender. To bake my face today, I'm using the Fenty Lavender Setting Powder. This is one of my all-time favorite setting powders. It's just so smooth and makes your face look really highlighted and just it, it keeps your makeup in place all day. I'm starting with baking the under part of my eyes and then I'm going to start to bake that cream contour and then also chisel out that cheek contour so that I could go over it with powder. Okay, so like I was saying about my birthday coming up earlier, um, I'm gonna be going to Seattle at the end of May, so I really wanna film an in-depth like travel vlog for you guys. Vlogs don't really do the best on my channel for some reason, um, but I really wanna get into like daily vlogging or like weekly vlogging because those are the type of videos that I enjoy watching, but let me know if you'd be interested in that. I've recently been using this Morphe palette as my contour. It's just an eyeshadow palette, but I'll have the link in my description if you are interested in getting this palette. Um, this cool tone brown is like the perfect contour color for me, so I'm just going over where I put that cream contour, and I'm not wiping away the bake. I like to do the powder before I wipe it away. So I also wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm not sure that I've promoted it too much on here, but... I do have a clothing brand, so I'm going to put the link in my description, and then I'm going to also put a rough draft of what I'm coming out with soon. Um, so let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Um, what else you guys would like to see? Um, anything, literally. Corsets, t certain designs, um, prints, literally anything. So just let me know. I can also do like pants, skirts, anything. So let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. But I just wiped away that powder and I sprayed my face with setting spray to kind of melt all of that powder away. Um, but now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I 
for eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gel Eyeliner in Jet, and I am trying to make my eyebrows very thin and very arched. Um, I want to leave a lot of lid space, even though I'm not doing any sort of like intricate eyeshadow. Um, I just want to have that big, I guess, gap lid space. So. I always think it's funny when people are like, oh my god, I wish I had your lid space, but it's literally because I shaved my eyebrows off. If I didn't shave my eyebrows off, my eyebrows are very, very thick and I would have very minimal eyelid space. Um, so if you ever want more eyelid space, the answer is to just shave your eyebrows off. Alright, to achieve that shimmery, sparkly vampire skin, I'm using the Fenty highlighter i can't remember the name off the top of my head right now but i will put it on the screen and i'm taking it on a damp beauty blender and just putting it literally all over my face and layering it probably five or six times to get that perfect glowy sparkly skin for eyes i'm doing that old makeup trick where you take like a super harsh edge and you basically blend your eyeshadow to get that very crisp looking eyeshadow wing so i'm just taking a piece of cardboard and putting that up against my eye and I'm taking the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 palette and I'm taking the cool tone brown color and then I'm going to be going over it with black. I'm keeping this on the outer portion of my eye because I want to go for that siren kind of cat eye effect. Um, so I'm just layering that until I like the shape and darkness. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using this felt tip pen from Hellbites Beauty and I'm basically just going over exactly where I put that eyeshadow um, and I'm making my wing very thin today. Um, I usually make it super thick and I kind of arch it up more but today I'm going for a thinner wing and like a more straight type of wing. I don't really know how to explain it um, but <laughs> you can kind of see what I'm going for in the video. Eyelashes will be linked in the description because again, I cannot remember the name off of the top of my head, but I will link them for you guys. Um, they're just kind of these wispy, shorter type of lashes. I feel like they fit the look. If I went for anything bigger, it would have looked, you know, kind of off. So I'll put those in the description, but I went ahead and tightlined my eyes with eyeliner and then I buffed some black eyeshadow on my lash line and then I'm going to take mascara and put it on my bottom lashes. For lips, I'm using this eye pencil and I'm just outlining my lips, kind of using it as a lip liner because I'm not going to do full black lips today. I'm going to put like a red color in the middle. So many people always ask me what lip color I'm using and I swear to god I cannot tell you what this brand is. I got this lip pencil sent to me like five years ago and I honestly don't know the brand name. I don't even know if you can still get it so I'm going to try to find something similar and link it in the description. But I'm just taking that red color and putting it in the middle of my lips and then I'm going to buff some black eyeshadow just to kind of make it look a little bit more seamless. But that's the finished look. Let me know what you guys think and what else you want to see from me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!